In this lesson, we will talk about how to identify outliers in multidimensional data. So if you could still remember, we have already talked about the unimodal and multimodal data. So we've learned about how to identify the outliers in these scenarios. When we talk about multidimensional, let me write here, multidimensional. All right. The concepts that we have learned in unimodal and multimodal can actually be extended in multi-dimensional data, just from the word alone, multi, which means many. So in this case, we are actually talking of a lot of features or dimensions, as opposed to unimodal and multimodal, wherein we just talk about only one dimension, but only that we have, in this case, one mode, and here we have two or more modes. So the question now is this, how are we going to identify the outliers in multidimensional data? So with the increasing complexity in unimodal and multimodal, because we have added one or more features, then we may as well have to increase our complexity in understanding the outliers in this kind of situation. So how do we do that? So first and foremost, it's very important to deal with a very significant issue in multidimensional data, and that is talking about the distance measure. So what is this one all about? So I believe you are already familiar with distance measure, and basic is the understanding of Euclidean measure. Euclidean measure is very important when we talk about measuring the distance from the centroid going to other points in our data set. So that is when we talk about multimodal data. It's because we have first to identify the centroid. That is if we are going to consider the centroid as the basic measure to understand or to identify the outliers in our data. So in this case, Euclidean distance may not be applicable in multidimensional data. So maybe you would want to ask me, how is that possible? It is not possible because we are, in this case, combining different numbers with different dimensionality. So for example, we have one, two, three, four, and five points. Here, the first entry has, for example, four dimensions. The second entry has five dimensions. The next one has six dimensions. Next one is seven. And the next one is three. So in this case, it could be more complicated to just use Euclidean distance to measure the common denominator of all the data points in our data. So with that, we can say that the common scaling in all of these data points may not appear so obvious. And that means we have to think about another way to normalize our data points. So here we have the concept of normalization, and I believe that you already know what this concept is. And this concept is actually very fundamental in data science. So in multidimensional data, we have to think about what kind of distance measure we're going to use. So that means we also have to ask ourselves or ourselves what kind of normalization technique or method we're going to use for this particular data set. Because in so many cases, if not all cases, when we have a very far distance from our center, for example, we have this center in our data, and we have these different points in our data set, and this is the farthest data, I mean the farthest point in our data set. So that means they can, or this can, really distort or disturb the result of our normalization. So this is the kind of thing that we have to deal with, and we have a lot of lessons to discuss how to deal with multidimensional data, and this understanding, basic understanding of how to deal with multidimensional data is very much important in our study of understanding anomaly and fraud, because in data science projects, we do not just deal with only one dimension. In most cases, if not all cases, we deal with 
multidimensional data and so it's very important for us to understand how to deal with the outliers in multidimensional data. Do you want to know more about this channel? Just click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics and a lot more. Here you can always learn an upskill for free.